Today we'll talk about the new handguns for 2022, a market that is hot and becomes ever hotter. There are new designs, there are adaptations of the current products, and all this should make handguns a little bit better, more accurate, easier to carry and conceal, and maybe also a little bit cooler and definitely easier to shoot. It's not wrong to actually speak of an arms race, and it gets the most pronounced in the micro-compact 9mm category. More and more capacity gets squeezed into these little lifesavers, and be it just one round more than the competition, while the comfort of shooting rises. That is no coincidence, as large capacity does not increase the grip size, making a gun easier to hold and easier to manage the recoil, aka easier to shoot. While main manufacturers put more and more emphasis towards guns for concealed carry, there's also a resurgent popularity on the bigger side of the spectrum in the form of the 10mm auto cartridge. New models are adopted to this big step up in firepower to get you peace of mind that in the event the unexpected happen, you're definitely not outgunned. The Smith & Wesson CSX Known for its MNP line, Smith & Wesson tried something new with the CSX venturing into the hammer-fired micro 9mm niche. It does not come as a surprise that the ergonomic characteristics remind you of the MNP series. But there are differences. The frame is made of an aluminum alloy featuring a textured front strap. The back straps are made of polymer and are interchangeable so that you can get a good fit. Besides the rear cocking serrations, there are also some on the front, and there's an extended tab on the back of the slide. Meant to be small and designed with concealability in mind, the CSX is not optic ready, as a red dot would just enlarge the whole package. Instead, you aim with metal white dot front and rear sights. The controls are ambidextrous, which includes the thumb safety. The button for the mag release can be reversed, the flat face trigger comes with an integrated trigger safety, and the grip with an angle of 18 degrees gives you a natural point of aim. The capacity is 12 plus 1 rounds, while the barrel length stands at 3.1 inches with a 1 in 10 twist. With a weight of 19.5 ounces, it's not too heavy, and it's just 6.1 inches long. The slide is made from stainless steel, and it comes with a black Armor Knight finish. You can have it for an MSRP of $609. Springfield Armory XDM Elite OSP 10mm. The handgun was released in late 2021 and is a variation of the XSM series with itself has been running successfully for quite some time. Now Springfield tries to make concealability with firepower as it is not only small but also chambered in 10mm. Why put such a big caliber into such a small package? It's meant for backcountry carry where it should bring a capable option that can be concealed but can also deal with some serious threats. This adds a new entry to the compact 10mm category, in which you otherwise find only the Glock G29. Springfield Armory XDM Elite OSP 10mm does share some similarities with the G29, including the size and weight. It is optics ready and features ambidextrous slide stop and magazine catch controls. One variation of it comes with the proprietary Hex Dragonfly Red Dot optic installed. The back straps are interchangeable to make for a good fit, and the magwell is removable. This allows the use of flared 11 round magazines and even full length 15 round magazines. The overall length is 6.75 inches and it weighs 30.6 ounces with a frame made of black polymer and a slide made of forged steel with a black melanite finish. The barrel is hammer forged and comes with a length of 3.8 inches. You get a grip safety and trigger tab and can have all of it for MSRP of $837, including the optic of $650 without it. The Colt Python 3-inch 357 Magnum. Here comes a real iconic revolver, the Colt Python. Now as a 3-inch model, you get a semi-bright stainless steel finish with walnut grips. It looks like the original, and it feels like this. However, the frame is more durable to handle a steady diet of hot loaded 357 Magnum rounds. The trigger is smooth like glass and brings great accuracy, something everybody appreciates after firing some rounds. The red ramp front sight is interchangeable, and the match grade rear sight allows for adjustments in elevation and windage. The cylinder holds 6 rounds, and the weight is 40 ounces at an overall length of 8.5 inches. It can be had for an MSRP of $1,499. The Springfield Armory SA-35 The Springfield Armory SA-35 brings back the P-35, also known as the Browning High Power. Well known and widely distributed, it was released in 1935. FN stopped producing it a few years ago, and Springfield Armory is now bringing it back to us with some updates to make it even better. Made from matte blued finish, this is clearly a workhorse, and not just a vault queen. 
The wood grips are finely checkered and contoured, and it does look like the P-35. So what are the changes? To make it more fitting for what modern shooters want, Springfield increased the capacity from 13 to 15 rounds. The hammer profile is redesigned as well. That way, the shooter's hand is not getting pinched, what happened with the original model from time to time. Also, the magazine disconnect is removed so that the gun can still fire the round in the chamber even if the magazine fell out. Last but not least, the trigger pull has been greatly improved. The caliber is still 9mm with a semi-auto single action trigger. It weighs 32 ounces with an overall length of 7.8 inches and a barrel length of 4.7 inches. The MSRP for this beauty stands at $699. The Mossberg MC2SC. Mossberg brings a double stack micro 9mm with a capacity of 14 plus 1 rounds. While the MC2 has been around for some time, the MC2SC is the double stack version. It still has a width of only 1.1 inches. If concealability is what you go for, use the magazine with 11 rounds that sits flush. If you need more firepower or as a reload to be carried extra, use the extended magazine with 14 rounds. It ships with one of each. The frame is made of glass reinforced polymer with a stainless slide and barrel. The slide is optic ready and the grip has a tilt of 18 degrees, making it comfortable to shoot. The flat trigger features a trigger blade safety and some models come with a reversible cross bolt safety. However, the slide stop is neither ambidextrous nor reversible, but you can reverse the magazine catch button. It weighs just 19.5 ounces with an overall length of 6.25 inches. The MSRP is $556. The Savage Stance MC9. The MC9 is Savage entry for the micro 9mm category. It comes with an ultra thin polymer frame, barrel with a length of 3.2 inches and it's striker fired. With a width of less than one inch, it uses an abrasive stipple finish on the grip with interchangeable back straps to give you the hold you need to shoot it accurately. It ships with two magazines, one with seven rounds and one with eight rounds. It is designed with concealability as the most important factor above capacity. Edges are beveled, as are the sights, so there will be no snagging. The slide stop and magazine catch button are both ambidextrous. You can have this beauty in several configurations. That includes some with and without a manual safety. Different styles for the sights and different colors. The barrel has a length of 3.2 inches and the overall length is just 6.2 inches. It weighs 22 ounces. You can have it for an MSRP of $479. The Smith & Wesson M&P 10mm 2.0 The 10mm caliber becomes increasingly popular, so Smith & Wesson decided to put it into the itself very popular M&P 2.0 lineup. Built around the M&P 45 2.0, it can use the same aftermarket accessories. You get the same contours, interchangeable grip, back steps, and feel giving this gun a head start on the market. The aggressive grip texture is very helpful when trying to tame the recoil of the 10mm rounds. There are two models for the barrel length, one comes in 4 inches and the other one in 4.6 inches. The frame, however, is full size for both and both use the same steel magazines with a capacity of 15 rounds. There are models with a manual safety but all feature a flat profile trigger with a trigger bar safety. The slide is optic ready and it comes with steel white dot sights. The slide stop is ambidextrous and the magazine catch button can be reversed. The MSRP is $654. The Kimber R7 Mako. This micro compact 9mm pistol comes with a polymer frame. It is ultra compact and uses magazines with capacities of 11 and 13 rounds. The grip features aggressive check strings so you can get some good purchase and it's optic ready. There's a version coming with a crimson Trace CTS 1500 red dot installed. Sporting co-witness height tritanium sights. It has a slide cut with a Glock dovetail pattern that opens it up for some great aftermarket support. The buttons for the slide stop and magazine catch are ambidextrous. The ejection port is to the side with a closed top. This way, powder residue cannot reach the optics. Also, there's no brass impact. The overall length is 6.2 inches and the weight is 23 ounces, including the optic and an extended but empty magazine. With a barrel length of 3.37 inches, you can have it for an MSRP of $799 with optics and $599 without. Sig Sauer P320 AXG Equinox The P320 is quite popular owing to its adoption by the U.S. Army as the M17 and as a replacement for the Beretta M9. It is a full-size polymer striker fire 9mm and known in love for its versatility. With the P320 AXG Equinox, Sig Sauer added a limited edition to its successful P320 line. It has the same ergonomics, but it comes with a frame made of stainless steel. It also looks a bit flashy, 
It features a barrel with a length of 3.9 inches. The slide has a two-tone polish and nickel-plated controls. Also, it's optic-ready, sporting a flat-face skeletonized trigger. Still a 9mm, it has a capacity of 17 plus 1. An overall length of 7.4 inches, weighing 31.3 ounces. You can have it for an MSRP of $1,329.99. The Ruger Bird Shed Wrangler. Ruger introduces three new models for their Wrangler line. They all come with the Bird Shed pattern for the frame and grip. They're single action and fire 22 long rifle rounds. The barrel length is 3.75 inches. The Bird Shed Wrangler is designed to be durable, reliable, and affordable. Well, not necessarily made with self defense in mind, and it's great plinking revolver. The frame is made for an aluminum alloy sporting a durable Karakoti finish. It weighs 28 ounces. The cylinder holds six rounds. The overall length is 8.62 inches, and the MSRP is just $279. There you have it, guys. If you think we missed anything important, put the model with a short description into the comments. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button, share it with your friends, and subscribe to the channel. Click on the bell to get notified whenever new videos come out to never miss another episode of Madman Review. Have fun, enjoy life, and see you again next time.